Okay, so I just picked this up. I've actually been contemplating buying this plant for a while. This is Arundo Donax. Um, it's from the Mediterranean. And some people will say, oh, it grows everywhere. It's invasive, that sort of thing. It seems to be reasonably well behaved. Um, it will spread with time, kind of like bamboo. And uh, you can sort of use it as a replacement for bamboo in, in some cases. Um, it does get quite a thick cane to it. I'm just gonna show you this. It's Mediterranean giant reed, and this is the variegated form. Um, so hardy to zone five. Uh, my dad grows it in zone six. Comes back every year. Six to eight feet tall. That's not correct. Uh, these get much bigger than that. I would say more in the eight foot plus. And uh, apparently handsome pampas-like plumes on mature plants. So the, reg the regular form is just the solid green. It's kind of boring. This is the variegated form. And uh, the place I bought this actually had a different form last year, which I didn't like. It was kind of like the variegated, but instead of white, where the white was, it was yellow. And uh, I was looking at that plant for a while, but I, I, I really kind of, I don't, I'm not a big fan of yellow. Um, I like white better. So I was there the other day and they had a few of these. So these, um, these are actually pretty tough plants. They usually grow in kind of like wet, more of a wet or boggy areas. You can use them in your ponds. Now this one here, look at that. That's Oregon Aquatics. But these grow just fine in the ground. However, they do um, appreciate a lot of moisture. So I, I do have a spot um, that gets a, a, it's kind of a wetter spot in my yard. There's some um, underground water that flows through there. So this should tap into that eventually. Um, right now I have some Crocosmia lilies, which I don't like because um, they just, they flop all over and they're really kind of, they look like crap halfway through the summer. So these grow um, quite big, they spread. Um, they will spread, you know, kind of out. Um, I have seen clumps, you know, like six feet wide, uh, you know, 15 feet tall, that sort of thing. I think they were about that tall. Um, and you can kind of see the old, this is like kind of like the old um, king from the previous year. So they are kind of winter dormant. So when winter comes around, you can leave them, but um, before they wake up in spring, I would recommend cutting them right back to the ground so you don't have this old growth. A lot of times they will sprout off of this old growth. Um, I think it's better just to have them send up nice, fresh new shoots like this. Very fast growing. So they'll basically go from the ground to, you know, 10, 12 feet in a season, no issues. The, the bigger, the, the older the plant, the bigger it will get with time. I know my dad's was probably uh, about this size and I think year one it got to about five five or six feet and then um, I think year two eight feet and then now it's really starting to multiply and get um, not only bigger around but taller and more robust. So I'm gonna give that one a shot. So this is a Rondo Donax. A lot of people will use this in their kind of like subtropical style gardens because it, it does have a uh, kind of a tropical appearance that the kind of like the leaves or whatever off of the stalks get bigger with time and uh, it, it, it's a pretty impressive looking plant but uh, I would recommend if you can find the variegated farm I would go with this over the regular green the regular greens okay but it's just a little bit bland I mean it's not there's not a lot of white in these but there is some you can even see some of these are almost more green, but uh, I want to try that one. Hardy down to zone five. I think probably in um, really warm places, maybe where you don't get frost, these probably don't go dormant in the winter. But uh, anyway, if you see that one, you might want to try it. Thanks for watching.